The treatment of cervical cancer is dependent on the stage of disease. In general, patients are divided into two categories. The first being those with early stage cervical cancer, including those with stage 1 to 2A disease, and those with locally advanced cervical cancer, which includes stage 2B disease and above. In early stage cervical cancer, surgery is the treatment of choice, where the gynae surgeon will remove the cervical tumour together with the uterus, the fallopian tubes, the ovaries, as well as the lymph nodes in the pelvis. Postoperatively, in certain high-risk cases, additional radiotherapy with or without chemotherapy may still be required. In locally advanced cervical cancer, the standard of care is radiotherapy given together with low-dose concurrent chemotherapy. Now, radiotherapy is a painless, non-invasive, and outpatient procedure where we use precise high-energy x-rays directed against the tumour to destroy the tumour cells in a bloodless fashion while the tumour is still inside the body. Radiotherapy is used instead of surgery in locally advanced cervical cancer because in these cases, the tumour has already expanded or spread beyond the normal surgical boundaries. And therefore, surgery in these cases will not be able to remove the tumour completely or safely. Radiotherapy, together with concurrent chemotherapy, remains the standard of care in locally advanced cervical cancers. Now, while the standard of care in cervical cancer has not changed over the last decade or so, what has changed for us gynae oncologists, however, is the use of new and advanced technologies in the treatment of cervical cancer. One example is the use of advanced radiotherapy techniques, or what we call intensity modulated radiation therapy, or IMRT for short. With IMRT, we use tiny and precise radiotherapy beams from multiple angles around the patient's body that are then directed towards the tumour and will then home in, literally home in towards the tumour target to deliver a highly conformal dose around the tumour while sparing the adjacent normal organs such as the bladder, the bowel and the rectum. This is in contrast to the traditional three-dimensional planning techniques for radiotherapy, unfortunately still used in some centres today, where large beams of radiotherapy are directed in fixed angles around the body, usually from the front, the back and the sides, producing a squarish blast zone where not only the tumour is destroyed, but also the normal organs um, are damaged as well. And so there is significant collateral damage with 3D techniques, resulting in close to double the risk of side effects in such patients. Another example of the use of advanced technologies in cervical cancer today is in the use of high-quality, high-resolution imaging scans in the management of cervical cancer, such as the PET-CT scan and the MRI scan. With these scans, one does not only rely on them to diagnose or to detect cancers, but we can now use this scan to map out the tumour for precise targeting and treatment. So for example, the surgeons can now look at the MRI scan to better plan their surgeries. And likewise, radiation oncologists can also use the PET-CT or the MRI scan to lock on better to the tumour target and thus deliver higher doses with less side effects. If you experience any symptoms of cervical cancer, please see your gynecologist or oncologist immediately. Early detection and treatment of cervical cancer allows for better outcomes.